Okay, freshmen, happy um, Thursday. We're going to keep talking about exposition today, keep talking about the different varying assets of it, or aspects, sorry. Um, and today we're going to focus on evidence, language, and style. So evidence, just like an argumentative writing, is necessary to prove that you know what you're talking about, that you are a reliable expert on the subject, you have the credence or the reliability to write an essay on this subject, whatever it is. So um, think of this as kind of research style writing. So maybe you're not trying to prove something to someone, but you do need to demonstrate that you know what you're talking about. And the best way to do that is to incorporate evidence. Um, so evidence includes anything from details, examples, research, opinions from experts on the subject, um, data, statistics, facts like that that have been researched, um, and personal experience and anecdotes can also count as evidence if you've personally experienced something that has to do with your topic, then that will also work as evidence in an expository essay. Um, so some examples would be, think of the um, hypothetical essay I'm writing on coffee grounds that I've been talking about. I would want to talk about, you know, specific evidence that I'm not just making this stuff up. I want to say, you know, studies have shown this kind of percentage of growth in coffee drinkers in the past 20 years, and here's some statistics that prove that, and that prove that the finances are going up in that field and stuff like that. I'd want to bring in those um, reliable pieces of evidence to demonstrate that I do know what I'm talking about. You can believe me. I am a reliable expert on this subject. I've done my research. I know what I'm saying. So that's super huge when, huge when you're doing evidence um, and when you're writing exposition or any kind of paper. You just want to make sure you can back up what you're saying. Same as if you were trying to um, explain, you know, the history of your life or explain maybe a movie you saw, you'd want to bring in evidence to prove it. You wouldn't just say, yeah, I saw it. It was good. You want to say, this, these are reasons it was good. Here's the evidence. Here's the proof. I'm reliable and I can tell you why. Um, so that's a little bit about evidence. And then when we get to language and style, that is similar to what we've talked about before with poetry, but it's just a different word choice that you choose to use to kind of help make your essay a little bit more effective. Um, so you want to use interesting language, you want to use really precise language, you don't want to use really vague terms, you don't want to get off topic, you don't want to put things in a weird order. Um, language and style just have to do with the specific words that you're using and the style you're choosing to talk about it. If I'm writing a paper on coffee, it's probably not going to have to be a super formal essay. I can write it in a pretty casual standpoint. I can write in first person. If I was writing like a dissertation paper on, you know, economics, I'd probably want it to be a little bit more formal if it's for a college essay. Um, so I'm going to use third person writing, stuff like that. So you have to, just, that is um, directly connected back to your audience and your purpose. You have to keep in mind, you know, who you're writing this for and what you're writing about and how you can use words to be the most effective in this. Um, so that's where language and style play a huge role. You're not a good writer if you write the same way for every single thing that you write about. Your voice when you use poetry and your tone should be different from the voice that you use when you write argumentative writing, and that should be different from the voice that you use when you do exposition. So the way that you kind of differentiate that is through your language and your style, your diction, your syntax, the use of imagery, the use of figurative language, things like that that help give the audience a clear picture of what you're talking about, demonstrate that you know what you're talking about with that subject, and also demonstrate that you have a good understanding of how to talk about this in a way that's appropriate. You know, that's where language and style is really important as well. And um, so those are the three things I wanted to talk about today, evidence, language, and style with exposition. Again, all of these writing elements are things we've already talked about throughout the course of this year. We're just applying them to a different type of writing. So instead of looking at poetry or argument writing, now we're looking at applying these things to exposition. So a lot of this should be review for you. Just be thinking about it in a different way when it comes to expository writing. Um, tomorrow I'll talk a little bit about expository strategies. Make sure that you are getting your note sheet finished, your assignment finished up. Um, and then you will get your final assignment, your final paper for this in class on Monday. So that's kind of exciting. Um, I miss you guys. I'm excited to read um, your writing. Hopefully I'll be able to see you when you come in and drop off your materials at school. Um, otherwise, have a great Thursday.